Hi guys, welcome to, to this week's demo. So I'm a little behind um, with everything happening last week. I got a little behind with my demo schedule, but that's okay. I'm gonna share ideas today with you on making envelope books. All right, so let's get started here. So my thought um, is we oftentimes end up with a ton of envelopes. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to have a lot of envelopes laying around. So. What I wanted to share with you was how to do something, make a fun little interactive book just using envelopes. So here we go. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, because I'm making a little book, I need to have some fold lines in the middle of this. And so these are five inch by five inch envelopes. I'm just gonna go ahead and score them at the two and a half inch mark here and here. Okay. And then I'm gonna take one of my book binding needles here and I'll get some twine. Hmm. I'm just using um, a jute, which is just kind of like, it's like a natural looking twine. And then I'm gonna take my little envelopes here. Let's put this to the side. I'm gonna fold these in half. One and two. And then, because I'm gonna just do a couple little, um, I'm just gonna do a quick little bind here. So I'm gonna come in from the side. This is a super fine, this is a little tiny hole punch. I'm gonna just pop it, um, just punch hole right in the, right on the spine right there. And then also up from the bottom, keeping my holes all lined up. I'm gonna do another one right there. Okay, so now, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the inside first. I'm gonna just do a really quick binding here. I'm gonna tie a knot on the end of my twine here. Okay. Should go here, and then up from the other side here. I'm gonna go back down to that same hole again here. And I'm just gonna do that a couple times. All right, then to finish this off, I'm just gonna go up here. I'm gonna tie this in a little knot. Get this tiny little tail that's still here. Okay, all right, so I have a quick little binding. So now at least my book is not going to fall apart on me. Okay, tuck my little needle to the side so I don't get stabbed with that. All right, so now we have a little tiny book, okay? So I know because my background is white, it's kind of hard to see, but we have a little book and there's little pockets on the sides. Isn't this so cute? So you can tuck little things in. Now on the sides here where it's closed, you can always trim that with a pair of scissors um, or a paper cutter and actually make little pockets where other things can go inside. So let's take a look what that's like. I'm gonna take my paper cutter. Now, because I still want my book to be kind of cohesive, I'm not going to cut the front one, but I am going to do um, this inside one here, so my second page. And what I'm doing, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see this here, but I'm actually only trimming off about a sixteenth of an inch so that it barely cuts anything off, but it's enough to make this a little pocket where you can tuck something in. And I'm also going to do the same thing. Um, actually, I'm not going to do the same thing with my last page. I'm just going to do that one on the inside. So now we have a pocket here, a pocket here where we just trimmed that envelope and a pocket here. I learned that technique from Cheryl Ford. She had some cool ideas in her art journals that she's been making. And I saw that and I was like, oh, what a great idea. It's just such a cool idea. All right, so then I got some of this paper out. Um, this is from the Ocean Blue line. I thought it would be kind of fun just to cut out some of these fun little shapes and things, just to kind of add um, some fun to the front of, or to some fun to our pages, okay? So we're just gonna 
enjoy kind of cutting some cute little things out. This is a great way to make just a cute like little mini book. Um, if you're wanting to kind of add some of like your fun decorative papers or you're wanting to just create something that makes you happy, this is a great way to do that because the decorative papers come with all sorts of little things that are really just perfect for um, trimming things out and cutting things up and kind of putting that whole thing together. Okay, so we have some like different cutout little shapes here. So we'll start to piece this together. Okay, so for my background up here, I think what I want to do is I'm going to use one of these pages here. And you can, there's this side has like the fishnet on it, which is so cool. Or you can use, we could use the other side that has this kind of like architecture kind of look. So it kind of depends on the style you're kind of going for. I think I really like the net for the background. So I'm just going to put some double-sided tape down. I'm going to put this on the front. I've trimmed this so that I'll have a little bit of a border on all four sides here of that ivory. And then I know as I lay down my little focal point here that it will go off the edge just a little bit, but then we'll have the decoration on the top and bottom of the net, which I think is just really nice for this little mini book here that we're creating. Okay, so then on the inside, we can use our little net on the little flap of the envelope, so cool. And then you can have these other little bits and pieces kind of on the inside. So you kind of get some kind of dimension and kind of start creating some fun little things. So I don't want to accidentally um, tape my envelope closed here. So I'm going to make sure not put tape right here on this edge that might be overlapping here because I don't want to accidentally tape my um, envelope closed little envelope book okay so you can feel if make sure there's no tape there then I'm going to glue my little net paper onto this little flap here I'm gonna give it just a little bit of separation there with a little bit of the ivory and then if needed I can go back here and trim this so that it is um, the flap of the envelope kind of all matches and is cohesive so that's kind of a cute little thing and then right in here then you can tuck in some cute little like the little compass can go in there which is really sweet the little boat can go in there so that's kind of fun so you can add some little things in there or if you don't want to do that you can add some of your our little cutouts from our little page here you want to find ones that are going to fit so let's grab this guy The little lobster guy so cute love that so let's kind of tuck that in there so that's kind of fun and i will tuck my little compass in here too actually oh, i'll tuck a bit of my compass over here on the side oh my gosh all the little bits and pieces oh so fun okay i'm definitely doing that here so so when i trimmed this guy off they had a flat edge so that's perfect for this little this little guy here and then we have our little compass. I'm gonna kind of put, tuck that up here. That's kind of cute. And then on the right side over here, let's see what else we got. Oh, I have the fun wood grain paper. So it's perfect for that. And let's see what else we have over here that might kind of tie in and might kind of go together. Let's see. I know I had more bits and pieces. There they are. What I just love about this ocean blue line is that all of the pages go so beautifully together. I mean, everything matches like absolutely perfectly, which I just absolutely love. So I want this to be trimmed to the same height as my blue. So I'm just going to use my scissors here to quickly make that happen. Put this guy here on the left, just to kind of give some separation. And then I'm going to do my little anchors on the right. So that's kind of fun. Makes a cute little mini book there. And then again, we have this little pocket right here, which we can tuck other little things in. Let's see what else we have here we can cut out. 
I love interactive books where things open up and pull out and it just makes it like more fun like there's secret little hidden things to find throughout the book and I oftentimes like to create that kind of effect when making accordion books well this is like a much quicker easier way that is not nearly as involved as making an accordion book but still gives you the opportunity to kind of customize it and use some of those decorative papers that we love so much so you can have your little pocket in there isn't that cute and we'll do the little let's see if this little guy will fit in there too it will so the little sail away to go with that so then you have your little sailboat plus the little sentiment all kind of ties in together which is really nice so you can tuck that in there okay then our next pages so we just, we just kind of incorporate kind of whatever you would like here just to kind of make it as fun as possible so again, I'm the kind of person that likes like extra little extra things and little things kind of throughout the whole book. If you've if any of you have ever seen some of my accordion books, you know that I love to do that kind of stuff a lot because I love interactive things. It just makes me very, they make me very very happy. Okay, I'm gonna get this little guy in here. Kind of create like a little we'll do like a little mini collage for this one. even though part of this word is trimmed off i think it will still look nice together okay so i'm just going to kind of create like a little quick little collage here of some fun little fun little ideas so i'm just going to kind of start piecing this together so we don't want to of course take away from the little flap here but we could add some things on and then score it and then fold it in so then as you open up you like see even more that's going on with that so that might be kind of cool you can really kind of play around with that different kind of concepts so i think i am going to do that for this guy so i have opened up my little flap here and i'm just actually oh that's right i don't want to i don't want to accidentally tape over my little envelope flap but i do want to put this right here on the seam so then as I fold it and open that up, you kind of get that cool part of like kind of a collage look of that page. And I'll add in all my little extra bits just to kind of give this some more dimension here. And I love this like little house going on. So cute. I just found like all these little images on the, this paper line because there's so many cool things that are part of this paper line that just make me really happy. And let's see what else we have here that we can incorporate. Let's go with this guy. And I might bring this all the way down to the edge there so it will fit perfectly. So we'll go with that guy there. And I like the little postage stamp. And let's see what else we can fit in here. Oh. And I like that little anchor a little bit. Definitely had some other little striping in here. Sometimes you can just kind of create like a fun little collage, just using like little bits and pieces. And sometimes like little, um, just like whatever you have left over from the paper line. You're like, oh, I'm not really sure where that's going to fit, or I'm not really sure where that's going to fit. Sometimes just it's just a great way to still save those because then you can kind of fill in some of this extra space kind of here and there. And I kind of like that this kind of shows um, the twine in the middle there. That's kind of cool. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this right along the side right here, just with the little anchors. And there we have our little collaged bit. So cute. I'm just going to trim that off. Okay. So that's kind of cute. And then I'm going to put my little information here that has like all the little words and stuff. I'm going to tuck that in the side there. And since I do have the little flap there, I should probably put something else there that's kind of fun. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I have some more of this wood grain paper. Let's see what we can do with that. Cute. So I'm going to put some double-sided tape along my little flap here. Whoops. Wasn't quite straight. And I'm going above and below it, so then as I flip this over, I can use this to trim this to the same shape as my little envelope flap. Whoops. So cute. Love that. And I love how you have two little flaps on either side. 
So that's kind of cute too, okay? So you can fold that up. You could add like some other little bits and pieces or other little embellishments, kind of depending on what you're trying to create and the effect you're trying to go for here. And then we can, oh, we have other, the more pages on the inside. So you can really kind of go all out here and kind of do whatever you would like. But I just like the idea of just adding, you know, some of these little collage bits or kind of things, kind of bits and pieces from um, the whole paper line, just to kind of bring it to life, you know? We'll cut out this little sailboat here. And I've always been a really big fan of collage, so collage stuff always makes me happy because I love like hunting down the different things that might like tie in or might like go along well with it. It's always just been one of my favorite parts about doing collage. It's like, oh, what else could we add? You know, you could even incorporate just a whole chunk of this page, which would absolutely fit on the left. And then on the right, you can have like the bits and pieces um, that didn't fit on that one page. You can kind of cut up and incorporate those over there. So this little guy will go on the right there. like little ideas for creating collage art and then on the left since I have some of this netting I'm going to put that there next because that was the other part of that other section of that paper that I trimmed off and we're going to lay down the little netting there and then you can add some of these little bits the kind of architecture kinds of things and kind of incorporate those onto your other page here just to kind of give it some fun and I realize I will need to trim this off just ever so slightly right here, but that's okay. All right, so there we have our cute little mini book. It's kind of like a little collage book, but just has like little hidden things throughout the whole thing. So you can have these little bits that kind of pull out, or you have the little things that open up and little hidden things here and here. But it's just kind of a cute little book that you can then create using some of those new papers. And, you know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a fun little activity for yourself. You know, if you're wanting to create something, but you need kind of a jumping off point, it's just a nice way to go. And you just realize I need to trim this down just ever so slightly here. Okay, luckily, I can do that. There we go. All right, so there is our first little envelope book. Isn't that so cute? Okay, on to the next idea. moment. All right, so the next idea I want to share with you is using the number 10 envelopes. So the number 10 envelopes are the ones that I refer to them as a standard envelope. But I had a lot of fun with this idea because I wanted to help help you kind of because slim line, excuse me, this type of um, card is called it people have been making them are called slimline cards and the slimline card idea I really like because then um, you can make like a little envelope book using the same kind of concept and I think I had a lot of fun with this so I hope that you guys have a lot of fun with it too to make the book you're gonna put two envelopes together so they're both the flaps are both going the same way and then on the second one you have the one flap here and you're just gonna tuck both of those flaps into the first one so that is how you create the book shape okay so once those go in there, then you have three pages, right? See how that works together. On the back here, just to make sure this all sticks together, you're gonna tape this flap closed. A double-sided tape along that line right edge right there, and this holds it together. So then now your book isn't just gonna fall apart on you, okay? And also for this page, just to make this stay flat, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just right here and that will hold that other flap in place so then that way as we open and close our book all the pages are going to want to stay in okay hopefully that makes sense to you all right so now i wanted to make kind of a fun little book so i'm using this new paper line also from graphic 45 and it's the bird watcher collection i love this paper and with the red envelopes it really really pops so what I want to do for this is I'm going to make a cute little um, book and I want this to kind of wrap around and tie. So just kind of keeping that in mind as I'm building my book here. 
So on the front of my page, this is what I want for the front because I love the florals. It's just absolutely stunning. And I love that this background floral also matches so nicely with the um, Slimline card here. I'm going to lay this down. There's about an, um, an 16th or an eighth inch of a border on all four sides of my little envelope book here. And then as I open it up, I have pockets here and here to like tuck little things in, like little secret pockets and things, which I think is really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this one here. Look how beautiful this color palette is. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to just lay down tape along this edge right here. And then also right in here, making sure that I'm not putting tape where my little pocket is. Okay. So now, whoops, this is the side we're gluing down. Again, I have about a 16th of an inch border on all four sides of the red showing, but there's still space here to like tuck in like little things behind that. Okay. And then on my last page, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this one here on the left. And that's going to go here. All right. Now we get to decorate. So I wanted to use this paper line because I love the, these papers. I love these little sentiments. It's just absolutely perfect. This paper is so um, wonderful how it's formatted. So you can just trim out those little pieces and then you have little things that you can like tuck in um, into your little um, interactive book or your little envelope book if you would like to do that. So, which I think is perfect. So we can do like the for the birds and you can cut out little things and like I said, tuck them in. Or I like this one, let's see if this one will fit in here. Yes, it will. So this one, the free as a bird, because this one isn't gonna fit across the, um, the book, but it will tuck perfectly into one of those little pockets. is a bird so cute so that will tuck right in here like so which I love and then you can put this on the outside here this paper makes it real this paper collection makes it really easy for creating interactive books because it's just so fun and I'm actually going to tuck this um, I'm going to turn this around so that the green has nice contrast there and then we have this guy And it says a little bird told me, so cute. So we can tuck this guy. I think I'm gonna tuck him over here behind this little one. But if you're looking to make a gift for someone that has that kind of interactive style, this um, envelope books are perfect for that because pockets are already built in, which is so wonderful. And I really like how the green on this goes nicely with kind of the other greens here on the page. Love this floral. What's nice about this floral is it can be up or down. So I'm actually going to use this on the back of my book here so that way I have something to hold my ribbon in place. So I'm going to put some double sided tape here. I'm going to find the halfway point of my ribbon and I'm going to stick that down here. And then I'm going to put my double sided tape on the back side of this little sentiment bit or the back side of this little floral. Of course, we could always go back in and add like other little sentiments and things on top of that if we wanted to. And then I'm just gonna put this right there. Nice. And then let's see what else I have here that we can incorporate. I was gonna say some of this blue is actually in this ocean line um, blue wood grain here. So I'm actually going to use this wood grain even though technically it's not really supposed to go with this paper line. Um, I'm making it work because I think it's a beautiful color with this. And it really is nice for doing a focal point for adding a little bit of interest on the top and bottom here. Okay. Oh, and this guy needs to be just a little bit smaller, I think, for the top. All right. And I'll add some double-sided tape. Oh, these need to be a little bit shorter. All right, and this guy will go up at the top here. A tiny bit of red around that. And we'll do this guy on the bottom here. All right, so now we have for the front, Let's see if we can find one of these sentiments that's perfect with that. Birds of a feather. Oh, that's perfect. I think that's the one that I want here. Let me get the 
the birds in the feather, though of course we're going to need some sort of backing on that just to make that kind of pop off the page just a little bit more. So I think that's probably the one. Actually, let's see what I have here. Mm, I think I'm going to need more of a solid color on this guy. What color do I want to use here? Let me think about the yellow. Yeah, that looks good. I just need some sort of solid paper here just to kind of break that up just a little bit. I know I'm using scissors instead of using my paper cutter, but that's okay. Just for the purposes of demonstration, just to kind of give you guys some ideas here. All right, and so then for this guy, I'm going to kind of put it a little bit wonky here on the front, and then you can tie just a little bit here. And you can tie your little card here. Actually, before I tie that, let's see if we need anything else throughout the rest of our little book. Oh, cute. So you can even do like some cute like little sentiments or things. Like, I'll, like I refer to these as like little flags. So you can incorporate those. So cute. Kind of a fun way to just add a little something. And then we'll finish this off by just incorporating this little guy into that. Cute. Oh, perfect. We'll match onto the yellow so that looks all nice and cohesive. Oh, isn't that so fun? Oh my gosh, I love a cute little envelope book. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Okay, now we'll tie that up. Tie a little bow so that it stays nice and closed. And there we have our ideas for little envelope books. There we are. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys learned something new and had a good time hanging out with me making little envelope books. Yay! I had a good time with it too. I might add a little bit of twine or a little a little bit of ribbon on that just to bring that all together, but I had a lot of fun putting that together with you guys. All right, you guys. That is it for today's demo. Hope you had fun. I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye!